So this is the next leg of our Pacific Northwest series. Starts at the glacier where we left off in the previous leg. Our nameless glacier here at 5,200 feet. And we end in Merle K. Smith Airport near Cordova. On the glacier, I think we landed down here somewhere, but I set my aircraft right up against the hill so that I can get sort of a, a bit of a downhill push down the glacier to take off. Uh, we're flying the x cub with skis, so let's go ahead and fly it. So it looks like we got plenty of smooth snow in front of us. I had actually wanted to take off that direction, but it looks like we're going uphill still that direction in flight simulator although that's not what the contour lines say but maybe we'll go off this direction a little bit probably end up drifting to our left there as we go downhill a bit So to get in the right valley to follow the course, you'll need to climb to about 6,600, 6,700 feet, but that's about 1,500 feet from where we took off. So, you know, just take off, climb, retract your flaps and you're there. I should be able to pick my way through here and then down to Miles Lake without having to climb anymore. We'll find out. So there's my off-ramp, which should take me straight down this glacier to Miles Lake and save me about 2,000 feet of elevation I was going to have to climb over if I follow the flight path exactly. I guess we could check. There's no uh, elevation for Miles Lake, but we can check it. So the lake itself is down at what? 600 feet to the edge of the lake we can basically just drift down this glacier pick up a bunch of speed because i don't think we're gonna have to climb gonna have to clear 3500 3600 feet 4000 feet yeah looks like we're gonna have to be at 4000 4500 to clear this stuff here so we'll get down to about 4500 So this is Miles Lake here, and I was supposed to maintain 4,000 feet, and then I remembered that right across that river there, it should be the Million Dollar Bridge. If you've been watching the Mysteries of the Abandoned videos, it's a Mysteries of the Abandoned location, and it probably won't make any other flight plans because it's all the way out here by itself but i think it was an episode of mysteries of the abandoned and it's million dollar bridge but it was built in late 1800s early 1900s it's a railway bridge probably your average overpass is a million dollar bridge nowadays but at the time it was an exorbitant sum of money for them to build a bridge because that glacier when it calves would bang off the bridge so they had to build these giant cement bulwarks i guess they're called in front of the bridge so that as the icebergs calved off the glacier it didn't wipe out the bridge it was built up here to i think there's a copper mine i don't know if it's down there i think it may actually be farther down this valley but there were railway tracks that ran all the way along here to get the copper out yeah there's a there's a push pin for the million dollar bridge right there and obviously it's not rendered as a bridge although i can tell you from the episode it was still a standing bridge presumably that cut in the trees there leads to it in fact they had to shore it up because they didn't want it to fall into the river is that it there it is there there it is 
so you can see the barely see the imagery at the edge but yeah they actually recently had to do some repairs to it because they didn't want it to fall into the water and spoil the the habitat because i think there's maybe lead paint used on it it was cheaper to repair it and keep it there than it was to tear it down and haul it out of here so that's the million dollar bridge you'd think flight simulator would recognize it because the trestles are still standing and there's actually some giant concrete blocks out away from it to protect it from the glacier when the glacier calves i guess this is child's glacier recreation area down here and then we've got to get back to 4500 to get back on our flight path yeah so we need to get up and over i guess child's glacier you might be able to pick your way through over there at 4,400, but you really need to be closer to 5,000 to clear these ridges. And this next waypoint's just a nameless waypoint to turn south down the glacier. Pretty sure Merle K. Smith Mudhole Airport is down there, and I think Cordova is on the other side of these hills here yeah we're just gonna make a right turn or out rather a left turn at the bottom of the glacier here and I believe it's a straight in approach to 09 at Merle K Mudhole Smith Airport just in case you thought I was lying And should have no problem finding Merle K. Smith. Looks like we've got ILS available if you want to just follow the ILS in. All right, so this is Merle K. Smith Mud Hole Airport. And that's the end of this leg. I think this is the last leg with uh, skis. I think we're, we're in the last couple legs to Anchorage now. That's the end of this leg. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. These flight plans are free to download and fly. Just go to simflightplan.com slash downloads. I'll include the link to this one in the description box.